So Orange Pi is a single board computer company similar to Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi 4, and this is the Orange Pi 5 that released earlier this year. Well, Orange Pi has done something crazy. They're entering the handheld market themselves. While all the leaks that we've gotten so far come from Chinese language sites, so the translations may not be perfect, Orange Pi has actually confirmed that they are indeed working on handheld devices. So Retro Dodo is reporting that there are three handhelds that have been leaked so far. So the first handheld in this leak is a Windows-based unit with an AMD 7840U CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 512 gigabyte hard drive, priced at around $430 USD. So the second handheld mention is basically just a budget version of the first one. It has an AMD 6800U CPU based at around $290 USD. And the third handheld mention might actually be my favorite one. No, not just because it's the cheapest at 215 USD, but because it's rocking the same chip as the Orange Pi 5. The RK3588S chip is the same chip that's in the Orange Pi 5. So this is basically the Orange Pi 5 in handheld mode where they've basically done all the modding for you and turned this great single board PC that I've been playing with into a handheld. And that's just the dopest thing to me. They just, they took this and they were like, our customers like turning this thing into a gaming console. You know what we should do? We should give them a thing that kind of takes out all the guesswork and just do it for them. Not a lot of people want to go in and kind of build their own handheld, but they want to be able to go in and play, you know, retro games and it just this just makes it more accessible so the fact that the first two units are going to be windows based but the rock chip unit is going to be android based with their orange pi os i'm assuming and that's going to open up a whole nother endeavor there because they're not just releasing multiple handhelds these two handhelds are based on kind of two different demographics. They're releasing a basically portable gaming PC, but then they're also dropping the unit that's based off the Orange Pi 5 architecture, which, you know, attacks this market with that budget handheld that's, you know, maybe $300 and below. I think that's a really smart idea because they can kind of put their feelers out and kind of see what's doing good where and then kind of attack, you know, which market suits them best. They did not confirm that the prices that Retro Dodo had reported were true. So so those can be taken with a grain of salt, but you know, we get a general idea of where we are with the prices. So with the budget handheld using the Orange Pi 5 architecture, I feel like that has more staying power and more potential. The AMD CPUs are nice and powerful, but they're also more expensive. I feel like the Orange Pi community will gravitate more to the budget handheld. That's gonna be the one I'm gonna get. But I guess to summarize the best, these two communities aren't exactly in the same place. They're, they're somewhat adjacent, you know, we don't have this without this and we don't have this without this. And the fact that these two worlds are kind of colliding now is why I'm really excited. I love that it was leaked. I love that it was confirmed. And, you know, Orange Pie was a good sport about it. And they weren't just like, oh, they're mad about the leak. They were like, okay, you got us. It's leaked. Prices might not be right. You know, give us a little time to, with the prices, but Retro Dodo, they let them cook. You know, they weren't offended about it. They retweeted it. This is the kind of stuff that gets me excited. So I'm excited to see where the pricing goes once that's released. But until then, peace.